I got this new Xped Light 5, the medium one, to try out today. And uh, basically, it's, it's a four season blow up mat. It's got duck down in it, but it's got, as you see on the packaging, several like, horizontal tubing, and it's the middle ones, not the two end ones. The middle ones have got the duck down in there. But I've noticed when you put it up to sunlight, a bright light, whatever, there's not a great deal of down feathers in there, but it's meant to be warm, warm for the winter. So this is the Xped Down Mat Light 5 in medium. I put all the measurements down below. See, it's quite a bulky pack, but I don't mind it if it does a job. It says light warm and at a great price the mat that fits in your hand <laughs> need like monster hands um oh here you go 620 grams 21.9 ounces and it's comfort it's to minus 12 it says i wouldn't say that but and that's 10 0.4 Fahrenheit and it's got a, a blow up foul thing it's got like a safety thing on there so you could blow into it and it don't let air out and at the end of the mat bottom and top you've got this foam bit so if you do blow and you're using your own breath um, it don't put condensation into the main compartment and it's got a anti-slip fabric on it although it's probably still slip but and it's meant to be soft to the skin quality down insulation 75 grams 2.6 ounces 700 fill power down moisture repellencies treated tested and according to IDFB standards and certificated by RDS and it comes up with a pump. I'll show you all that now. Oh, there's the measurements. It's 183 centimetres long. That's 72 inches by 52 centimetres width. That's uh, 20.5 inches. And the pack size says here 26 centimetres. That's 10.2 inches. Top to bottom. And the width is 13 centimetres, 5.1 inches. So, and the temperatures are going down to about, I don't know, about probably 9, 10 degrees tonight. And it's and with a chilled wind, so you see how that does. Oh, you get a punch repair kit, standard thing, patch. Is the pump basically you cover the hole like that and it just blows it out? Here's the valve, and you've got to get this little, like a little poker thing, stick in the valve if you want to let the air out. Obviously. So, this pump has got a bit on the end that goes in there. I think it clips on. It's a bit awkward to show you in there. But I thought I'd actually try it out on the field so to speak. So there's the hole. Push down, take your hand off the hole, it sucks the air, push down. So it takes about two minutes to do this. It's a lot better than blowing it in and getting lightheaded and blowing in your moisture, which can make it, well, will make it colder in the colder months. So you just take the pot pump off. Then squeeze that back in, 
lot so when you deflate it you poke this little thing in or you could use your finger but a good thing with this is slightly hooked so you can sort of push it and leave it in there and let it go down and whatever so I've just turned it around that's the top there's a name on there it's got this like honeycomb style to it so I think the idea of that is to make it a little bit softer and um, makes it stronger as well so I'll let you know how it goes in the morning Good morning campers Well I don't know if it's the mat but I was toasty warm last night It was pretty comfortable I, I did wake up a few times with oh, arm makeup But I did that even on a real soft bed It's gone down a bit now because I just let the fell felt The um, down mat and down sleeping bag and I did feel um, a bit more warmth from my back, so it must be holding the heat. And the ground was quite chilly last night and this morning. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. More happy than the Thermarest Neo Air map thing, which is too hard for me. Yeah, I like that. 